Hey Brad, um, I know Romeo was a late add to the injury report today. Um, is that just him continuing to get his legs under him and look toward game chip? Chris, Brian, Olive, and I were just betting on the first question, and <laughs> Romeo was the uh, Romeo was the guest, so he made Brian happy. Um, Romeo just not he's just not ready to play. You know, he's he's gone through. Even yesterday, we did a little film thing with the team, and then he did a. Uh, he played some five on five up and down and he just doesn't feel ready. He doesn't feel comfortable. Um, I think we're days, not weeks away, but um, the, the, the coming back off of um, the last two weeks has been really difficult from a physical standpoint. And so um, cleared and everything fine cardiovascularly, but um, just as far as reconditioning and everything else. Brian, Rob. Hey, Brad, just wanted to check in on how Shemi's uh, has been recovering from his issue and um, if the plan for Tristan this weekend is still be able to get him to do some testing in terms of cardiovascular stuff, if he's going to be clear for that, you think? We saw Tristan this morning for the first time in um, however long, three weeks or whatever. Um, so he's going to be able to, once all of those things come back, which I think we had most of them back and everything looks good, he'll be able to start ramping up his activity. Um, what that means as far as coming back, like, I don't know what that means. Uh, Shem is projecting, um, we're, we're looking at probably late next week um, to be available. So, you know, another week away, probably. Bob Schron. Thanks. Thanks, Brandon. Hi, Coach. Uh, Hi, Coach, um, uh, given the the scheduling and, you know, obviously there's game every seemingly every day but with um uh can can you practice at all in terms of offensive execution it just um you know to the innocent eye if you if four for 24 from threes it just seemed like uh ball movement it, do you practice is there a way to uh get reps to maybe correct that you guys get plenty of reps both individually and in small groups depending on how much they played they get a lot more reps. So the guys that didn't play, the you know, Tremont and Taco and and you know Carson and, and guys that that didn't play the night before will all get in, in some sort of live action on their off days to keep them fresh. And obviously, everybody else you can't play them every day. And practicing at any real pace is probably not doable in the midst of this stretch. However, they do get in a lot of individual work. And some guys need it more than others just from a, their own, you know, emotional readiness, right? I think that, you know, some guys can have a one for 10 night, not touch a ball for two days and be ready to roll. Other guys need to get in the gym and they need to get in, a, you know, a couple hundred shots or make something on the move or, or you know, do a routine that they've always done to regain their rhythm. Everybody's a little bit different but it's all tailored to each individual and to what they need um, when you're talking about the higher minutes guys. And then we do what we can in walkthroughs and in any practice opportunities to try to improve the small details of how we execute on both ends. But those are, those are fewer and far between in this, in this season in particular. John Corrales. Brad, Jalen and Jason have they're leaders on this team, um, and they they have come on here and talked to us about how how they're you know how they want to lead and, and all of that. Uh, how how fair is it to evaluate their leadership skills uh, right now based on this season, the circumstances of this season? Well, I think listen, this these those two guys are all stars, and those two guys understand that with with that with the expectation of being you know, our best players that people are going to evaluate them in everything they do. That's a hard transition for young guys. I've tried to um, be very um, empathetic towards that because I think that as much as, um, you know, we ask of them, that's just another responsibility. I've said for years, um, or at least I've said in the past year, John, that my goal for them was to be two of the better leaders by the time they're 26 or 27, right? That they just, you have more experience, you have more 
to lean on. They'll have this year, whatever it turns out to be, to lean on as another opportunity to reach back and say, I've lived this and I can help us navigate this. And so I think the most important thing that young players can do when talking about leading is they can lead by example with their play on both ends and they can be accountable. And I think that for the most part, they deserve high marks in both of those areas and especially accountability. Those guys don't shirk from the responsibility. Um, they don't point fingers at other people. Um, and they have been, you know, really receptive to growing and, and, and they deserve credit for that. And they're not as good of leaders as they will be when they're 27, but they're as good as any 22 and 24 year old I can imagine. And so I think that um, that's, that's one of the many reasons why I think they're special. Final question, Adam Himmelsbach. Hey, Brad, I was just wondering about what you think about seeing Isaiah getting a chance again and if you've been able to keep up, like if you saw any of his Team USA um, games Watch or if you've been all. able to stay yeah. in touch with him. Yeah, I watched, I, watched, I watched him play with Team USA, um, you know, and, uh, and communicated with him a little bit around there. And um, really happy for him. Um, I sent Stan a text today right afterwards. I, obviously, I can't say enough good things about Isaiah. I, I brought back to how much I appreciate the way that that team played. And he was obviously the leader of the group. But he was um, so special here and so special to be around that, that you want the best for him. And this is a great opportunity. And I looked across the court today. and. You know, the Houston team we played a couple of weeks ago is not the team we're playing today. And two of the guys off the bench were two of our better players on that team as well. And, um, you know, I, it's, always, uh, it's always good to see all of those guys have success. Um, and I want, you know, I, I, I'm sure Isaiah is going to kill it um, when he gets that opportunity. I'm sure it's going to lead to a long-term opportunity, as we all hope. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Coach. Thank